I wanted to tell you about my meditations on Jupiter. Grasping at fragments, I wanted to tell you at a distance, distanced, about the recital and its amplification. I thought unicum in the varying versions, urgent meditations on Jupiter, my remotest wandering, its chilly motion, ice and patterns, striations seemed to be models of tissue and imprint, solitudes, solicitudes, in Persian it, in Persian it might be a sign of geomancy. What is the sand you imagine trapped in your echo chamber? A telescope of no small size, a clepsydra of wondrous watery proportion, the greatest clock of the universe. What can you know, recital, as a dispatch in a way signaling a spin? This is a meditation on time, made of glass. When the electricity stops, the clocks go off on their own, those not surveyed. Switched calendars and the new technology, they will place an owl in your classroom to keep track of your study, your payments, your assignments. Are you on time for class? In an alienated classroom, the talismans of your own mind. And you feel split in time. You feel your head dizzying as your eyes land on the handmade machine of words, repeating forms from Dante's Inferno, distancing and dancing in a circle of left hand turns, turning up on the day of reckoning as you ascend. I love the syncretic. I want everything to pile up in solitude, counting backwards. The time you thought you were on, then there were paused interventions all through your life. Ventricles, I need advantage, and ventilators, I need vehicles, as in the lesser and greater vehicles of Dharma. The recital of Hai Ibn Yaksan was written during his detention in the fortress of Fardahan. The narrator or author, Ibn Sina, speaks of a time when his soul was at home and could go out to the familiar, but finding places that lay hidden in his own city. Captivity in a cosmic crypt, a dark pit in which also the pilgrim of the recital of Occidental exile is stuck, an inward escape, call it. Solitude summons High Ibn Yaksan's vision, waiting for the invitation to leave the prison where, whose jailers know they are not themselves captive. What is imprint in a brain? What is a symbol? What is the allegory here? What can we learn of carceral in a book? A day in the can when you want a plutonium off your front range, when you want to control the narrative of toxins in land, water, the cellular throb and breath of toxins, and you protest all day, all months, all thousands of years, deformed sheep born at dawn near rocky flats, and I'm missing in a dispatch. The gasp is echoing through time here in capsule. Study the surfaces of sand in an age that crumbles like sand. Count the eyes on potatoes. Study a field chart of matres, of mothers. Write a book that opens to the sky, conjure Hermes, Trismegistus, who witnessed the angel Gibral in a dream. My chambers are like cubicles in the library, the shelves swaying as in an hallucination. I had to leave all that behind. I still hold a key to a research room and pray they will let me in again, study scripture, the rise and fall of everything, and the age of reason again. Not a philosopher, I am reluctant to get loose with poetical intuitions, but they are all of the above. What I have admitted here into this cavity, how to be urgent at remote control, shake a dying body awake for an instant, happy recognition, mysteriously guided to text that fluctuates in the mind, comes and goes, lost the little pencil for my library requests. They arrive as if telepathically, fragments, as I've said, on the nature of prediction. There is none arising. The crystal mirror is cloudy. Watching the child on the small screen, she is learning K. She is writing K for the first time. I think of Aya Sophia, that elder library where it is recorded this kind of memory, the first K of knowledge. Her name is Cora. These were the categories of her studying. Wandering, roaming days of cold light, mind not caught yet by the death clouds, breath of death, Breath of the impelling days, mind in the heavens with distant moons, and Celadia's her oceans hidden under icy crust. Lift the curtain, you may see the future of water. Crisis, jeopardy, propulsion and scrying. The crystal ball is cloudy, hazards, restless, brutal patrols. Corner of a watery eye, keening. Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto as top moons for the dark dark time. Oral tradition told the future that this was ancestral transmission, how to be alone with the four rotations, how not to go mad. I thought her thrill of discovery 
Cora's first instinct, she be in this looking up. But we are not awaiting Martian travel. We notice patterns of solar systems. What is identity in this? What is naming? Make a list lifting the supermoons out of a host of 70, or is it 79 now? The counting of so many moons, volcanoes and snowfields of Io, a moon of fire and ice, colors which show red, orange, yellow, black, white, smallest of Galileans, then Europa in circles with cracks and fissure that would haunt your notebooks, 20 to 180 million years old, a young face, Ganymede, highly cratered, and light grooved terrain across her face. Callisto probably unchanged since its formation. How could you ever guess? Out of the radar of Jupiter's magnetic field, beyond Jupiter's radiation belt, untethered. More to study each moon a year in your life. Reflectively. That's the dispatch here. Reflectivity. That's the dispatch here. Perhaps oceans beneath the surface could flourish with life. A wandering mendicant in my heart, and that was what I wanted to say to you, crying for all the others, for the mendicants coming after in plague to know truth of suffering, could be signaling the end of entire civilizations. You go studying the plague of Cyprian, the plague that ended serfdom, the plague of London, shortest in a year, only a 100,000 dead. Think with me now on all the friends, all the last rites for those afflicted AIDS, like the strike of a large gong, 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 a large gong, 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 as you say it, aids the fallen. Solipsism is my instrument for seeing. We keep thinking about the future. This fluctuating, uncertain magic is apocalyptic by nature, and we are beginning our rituals, our Jupiter glowing out there right now, sitting here. It's 318 in mountain time, look out my hatch on the sky, an ingenious bubble of shelter. See the comet guide across your wounded galaxies because you have a mind to project that heartbroken song. Evidently, celestial physics and astronomy define the soul's itinerary like a comet. If you want to greet it that way with an angel as a guide, escape right now. Traces are discernible in the recital of High Ibn Yaksin, realizing a kind of transmutation where there is interiorization of the cosmos, emergence, as is said, from the cosmic crypt. The recital is imploding in on itself. And what is the data? An enveloping sphere to save phenomena, a body's motion considered in longitude and latitude, swiftness and slowness, proximity and distance from the earth. Here, us again, we think like that, our earth. I keep saying distanced, distance us as homocentric to the center of the earth, seven spheres, and then there was the eighth enveloped, and the whole was the sphere of the fixed stars. Would that be absolute? Why would anybody want that fixed? But the moderns, followers of Ptolemy, added a ninth, a starless sphere, communicating that the astronomer must try to solve the notion of an unmoving earth. What will we continue to know when science leaves us stuttering? Turn off the light, enter that little cavity, find a corner, a movie theater, unsafe in 2020, unsafe in 2021, in 2022, in 2023, in 2024, in 2043, in 2063, in 2073, in 2079, in 2084, in 2094, in 95, in 96, in 2099, in 2099, in 2099, and... Thank you so much. Thank you.